There once was a clan of people who possessed the powers of the astral dragon. However, it was in an era in which the divine family ruled over the kingdom with the blessing of a great deity. And the people of the kingdom now bore a deep loathing towards them. They were known as the Dragon Blood Clan. In the age of the world's creation, the astral dragon Atrum was felled to the land below by the mighty arm of the celestial Primatus. Atrum's body was then purified by the holy weapons of five gods, which led to the creation of the continent of Remlia. It was at the heart of the Remlian continent where the kingdom of Medius rose forth, forever under the watchful gaze of its guardian deity, the all-powerful celestial Primatus. Dragon Marked for Death is the story of four young members of the Dragonblood clan who swore to take revenge against the kingdom. The Empress carries the power of the dragon's fang in her arm. Wielding both sword and powerful dragon breath attacks, she boasts the highest damage output of all the clan. Use her dragon sword attack to recover dragon points and traverse complex terrain with ease with her dragon whip. In a party, she takes on the role of a DPS character with no gaps in damage output from short range to long range. The warrior uses the dragon scales to deploy an impregnable shield. Boasting high defense, he can flip that around with Berserk, enabling him to dish out incredible damage in an instant. With a mighty tackle, he can both stun enemies and eliminate obstacles. In a party, he serves as the shield that protects the group from harm with his high defense and Dragon Guard shield. The Shinobi takes to the skies with the power of the dragon's wings in his legs. With a swift dragon dash, slam into enemies to target them and ensure all your attacks strike their mark with ease. Scale walls and float through the air to explore new areas. In a party, his ability to recover dragon points is second to none, helping his allies consistently use their abilities. He also excels at generating aggro and keeping the enemy's eyes on him. The Witch carries the extraordinary depth of the dragon's knowledge. Using the ancient dragon language, she weaves a miraculous blend of magic that can be used to destroy and heal. By combining strings of magical incantations together, she can set the power, effects, and firing method of her spells before casting them. In a party, she provides support by healing her allies and hitting enemies with damaging spells and negative status effects. Now, some new members have joined the ranks of the Dragonblood clan. The Oracle bears the power of the Astral Dragon in her back, strengthening her physical abilities. She summons giant weapons to command, and conjures her own unique arsenal of magical powers. In a party, she powers up her allies with a range of spells and can deal physical and magical damage in equal measure. The Bandit uses the secret techniques of the dragon to steal relics and use their powers at will. He uses relics to pass over complex terrain and to invoke the power of the dragon to aid him in combat. In a party, he takes the role of a DPS character with a wide arsenal of attacks and acts as a good luck charm for collecting items. 
Having forged a pact with the Astral Dragon, they raise their levels by offering the deity souls of the enemies they have slain. When a new level is reached, points can be freely allocated to raise the character's attributes. Equip weapons that match with the character's current level to take on more fearsome enemies. Successfully complete jobs taken on from the bar in town to raise your reputation and open up new possibilities. To enact their revenge on the Divine Family, they will do whatever it takes to finally get an audience with the Divine Emperor Medius. Dragon marked for death. The tale of the Dragonblood clan can finally be told on PlayStation, July 22nd, 2020. Purchase the PlayStation 4 version of the game before August 4th to receive the exclusive Striker gear. Inti creates.